we buy a lot of our supplies for one thing on trade. We get dumpsters on trade. Blinds, pool supplies. We've had all our uniforms put on trade. All of our vehicle maintenance is done on trade. Our logos for our shirts were business cards, brochures, everything. It saved us a lot of cash. These small business owners have found a not so new, but not much talked about way to grow their companies. Bartering is the exchange of products and services without the use of cash. They've all signed up with barter exchanges, which are helping them boost their businesses without dipping into their company's cash. The number one reason to join a trade exchange is new business. A barter company brings you customers that you didn't have. The number two reason to join a trade exchange is new business. And I'll bet you can guess what the number three reason is. Tom McDowell is the executive director of the National Association of Trade Exchanges. We provide an extra marketing tool that a lot of small businesses don't have available. So we introduce them to a whole new network of other businesses that whenever possible do business with each other. Here's how it works. For a small fee, businesses join a trade exchange. Once they provide a product or a service for another member, they receive a credit in their barter bank account, which they can then use to buy something from someone else in the group. A lot of that stuff that we would normally pay cash for, we have found ways to spend it on trade. Jason Iris and Sam Dinello, owners of Naturalistic Landscapes, signed up with the barter company Trade First in 2006. Today, they do about 10% of their business as part of a trade. The materials for this job were purchased on trade, and the total is about $6,000. These jobs both save the owners cash and help bring in new paying customers. This house that we're doing on trade today, we will put up a nice sign, a nice naturalistic landscape sign, with our phone number on it, and then any neighbor that he has here um, will see the sign and call us. We got four referrals from one trade job, four cash referrals. Chuck and Shannon Lurchin started their cleaning business, Michigan Office Clean, two years ago. They found out about trade exchanges during a networking event. Chuck just came home and told me about it, and I was very leery about it. I'm like, it sounds too good to be true. And um, the more research we did about trade first, the, the better it seemed. The Lurchins say they would have had a much harder time finding business in the beginning if they hadn't signed up with the exchange. Trade is very important to our business. I mean, when we started out, trade is actually how we started our business. We started our business. We didn't have any clients. Chuck um, found trade, and that's how we got our first client. And then from there, it just built on from referrals. The exchange doesn't just help out their business. It helps out their personal lives as well. They put about 70% of their credit into growing their company. The other 30, they use for things at home. The roses are perfect the way they are now. Nice, they're coming in nice color. Like hiring naturalistic landscapes to redo the outside of their house. The Lurchins have built a steady stream of trade business. Jay Bocci used credits he earned cutting people's hair to hire the Lurchins to clean his upscale salon. I know that if I need a new product or service on trade, that I'm going to get quality that I'm going to get somebody that's in the same game that I'm in, and it's great to deal with. It's almost like you know them ahead of time, or you know their business practice ahead of time, and that's a lot of fun. And Nicholas Ritz trades meals at his restaurants to earn credits that he spends on the cleaning service as well, amongst other things. The first purchase I ever did was the awning, actually, which was a $15,000 purchase that, for any business, would be tough to do without some kind of assistance. These business owners say the possibilities of things to trade that your company needs are endless. It's just a matter of being creative. When you think about how much you spend just in your day-to-day -day operations that you pay for now with additional sales of your own particular product or service, barter is really a great asset and a great tool for small businesses to work with.